I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin. In this video, we're going to have a look at the Sin City, the Mafia Metaverse. Nothing in this video is financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. This is one of the projects that has been mentioned numerous times, specifically when I mentioned the other Sin City in a video, which is sin-city.io, which is basically, well, website appears to be offline right now. But we're going to talk right now uh, about the Sin.City, uh, the project that is backed by Alex Becker, uh, Animoca Brands, Spartan Group, uh, ANT, HyperEdge, hugely hyped project. Not that much information out there yet in this video. You're still going to see a price prediction based on the NFTs and the latest up to date information on this project because today I got involved. And obviously when I get involved, you already know it's going to be a great project uh, and there must be lots of opportunities there. So right now you can just read something about the team. Staking is not available. Governance is not available. The marketplace is not available. The team is uh, making some moves. The Discord is already huge. Uh, you know, they got Luke, co-founder of CoinMarketCap, co-founder of CoinList. They have a huge advisory, KSI, Elliot. Uh, they have a huge team and a huge advisory team there. There's just not that much information. And inside the Discord, it's not, uh, it's extremely active, but not active with admins and mods who can answer questions. So once you join, they have some incredible artwork. Um, you can basically only do two things. <laughs> Go to the Discord and read upon information, which we'll do in a second, because there is no white paper available just yet. Uh, and there are two NFT uh, drops so far for this game. So when we look at basically the entire team, you will see extremely high experienced individuals. Uh, Roy, as the co-founder, past experience working at Tron, EA Games, Charboost. Then we got Disney, EA Games, Ember, Tron, Yahoo. Then we got Tron again, Tron, Google, EA Games. Uh, then I don't know any of these companies, Gameloft, Ubisoft. I mean, like the team, the core team itself, I would say uh, extremely strong, right? Confidence there. Uh, I don't want to say 10 out of 10, but I mean, these are some major companies and they all use their real faces. Uh, you can look them all up on LinkedIn. This looks that professional that I'm not even going to look them up on LinkedIn, which I usually do on these research reports. And they got some interesting advices as well. So they got Donald Kushner, which is the original producer of Disney, Tron, Monsters, and many others, owner of the Hollywood Chinese Theater. They got a uh, principal engineer and a director of engineering at EA Games, which is obviously interesting because this is a game, right? A director of research, creative algorithms, technology at Netflix. So they got some, some real heavy hitters uh, there, right? So that's, that's two. Then obviously the main investors and influencers, Alex Becker, Elliot Trades, KSI, uh, which is obviously huge in terms of name and branding, uh, which is interesting. Right. So Sin City is basically a mafia metaverse comparable to Grand Theft Auto. Right. But this is a play to earn game, which is obviously going to add an extreme utility towards that game. Once you go to Sin City uh, and click on the Discord, it will take you to Discord, which I'm actually here right now. So as of today, Thursday, December 9th, there is about 67,000 people in this Discord. And I can tell you these are not bots because the chats are extremely active, right? Like I've been gone for five minutes and there's like hella images. Well, this is a cool image. I'm just going to save this one real quick. I, mean, I might use it later. Uh, but yeah, I, I like the artwork. Everything looks really cool. Uh, and it's like extremely active community as well. However, in the FAQ, there are some important questions because if I have no white paper, I can't do a super detailed review for you guys, which I always love to do, right? So in the near future, I will come with a full, you know, usually the 45 minutes, one hour long review of the white paper when it's available for Sin City. Uh, what blockchain? We are a chain agnostic and we'll be cross-chain, Mafia spreads far and wide. 
Will the game have its own token? Yes, there will be a governance token. It's not live yet. We will announce the public sale soon. And when I say soon, this was posted in 23rd of November, I would assume this December, right? So in the next two, two and a half weeks. It will be possible to earn tokens while playing the game. Definitely, we are bringing free uh, to play to the model play to earn. So you do not require to make a purchase in order to play. Which game engine uh, was used to build the game Unity? I don't know actually what that is because I don't know anything about making games. I know about investing in games and playing games, right? Uh, especially mind games. When will the alpha leaks be released? The Mafia likes to reward commitment and loyalty to be announced. We will unveil the mini game module V1 date soon. Playable demo. All right. Uh, when is the IDO and how can we invest? We will announce the official public sale details in the near future. Stay tuned. How to get whitelisted. We will drop Mafia like alpha leaks here, there and everywhere. Be aware. Okay, so they, they definitely, just like any other play to earn game right now, building up the hype, rewarding those that are active in their communities and that are sticking with the project. So if you hold any of their NFTs, probably there will be an additional benefit to that, right? Because those are like the, the, paid, uh, the paid dedicated community members. If you are active in the community, there might be some additional principles that you can get. What do the roles mean? Levels or how active you are? Well, there you go. Early is that you were one of the early supporters. Is there a white paper? Yes, it will be released this week along with other alpha leaks. This week was a week and a half ago and I searched everywhere in the Discord uh, under the quote obviously white paper. It is not available yet as far as I'm aware. What is MAAD? Mafia is DOA for more info, detailed medium article. Okay, cool. So I will check the medium as well to see if there's some information there. How can the community help? Help spread the word on Twitter, okay who's the team and then they link the team right so that's basically all the information they got a cool discord setup you got some general chat price discussion community ids game currency staking ids uh even a general chat too because there's so much going on some feedback amas marketplace for assets uh, and then some language filters generally um let's focus on the two NFT drops first before we go and look on the medium. So there is one on OpenSea, which is called Sin City Genesis Pass, which are quite expensive. So when we Google this, uh, which I already did, of course, <laughs> looking for the mint price, as you can see, uh, there's a little explanation there. So 888 Genesis Sin Passes are obtained by cracking puzzles and will give holders exclusive income benefits and perks with the in the Sin City Mafia Metaverse. The Sin City game was co-founded, all right, they go on about the investment and the, who they are. Four sets of 200 Genesis passes are giving out for free to those that can crack codes and puzzles. Obviously, Alex Becker, Elliot Trades involved as advisors and investors, no, no coincidence that they love their riddles and puzzles in order to give out free mints, right? Which I make sense, there's a little bit of effort involved. I like the idea, I'm just shit at riddles. So uh, obviously, I, generally I don't even uh, partake in these events, I'll just buy one because uh, I don't wanna waste time on riddles, I'm lazy. Uh, Genesis Sin Pass holders will have exclusive income benefits and entitled holders to mafia level incentives and perks within the Sin City metaverse. All right, so they are quite expensive. They are about, the bit floor is just under four Ethereum right now. Um, they are not revealed yet, so they have been out for a while. As you can see, the offers are about two ETH each. Some people list them for like crazy numbers and there's not that many for sale. So on the buy now, there's only 30 for sale. Uh, quite a bit for under five Ethereum, right? 10. Uh, but the, the, the bid floor could jump quickly when the announcements come to what the additional benefits to these things are, right? So they first got online on the 1st of December, right? Because I have lost 90 days. At a price of about 4.7 Ethereum, 41 sales. Then it dropped quite quickly to 3.7 the next day, 12 sales, 3.6, 6 sales, 3.5, 3 sales, uh, 4.2, it went back up, 3 sales, 4 sales, nine sales nine sales and today so far five sales well was that yesterday no it's today 
at, at, a, at an average price of 3.6 ETH, right? So this one dragged it down a little bit, the 3.4. Um, but yeah, is this a good time to get in? I don't know because there's not that much information on it yet. Uh, there was a minting. So these are the Genesis passes, right? Which I, I, I assume these are the highest authority uh, NFTs that they currently have. They also did a minting today on the Binance NFT market. So somebody in the Discord channel, my Discord channel, wrote about this mint. Otherwise, I would have missed it. Sin City was on my list to review, but I review a lot of projects every day. I read a lot of white papers. This one didn't have a white paper, so I was waiting. However, I reviewed the other Sin City, which compared to this one, looks a little amateuristic. Uh, they are already a little bit further, I think, ahead with the development and shit. But this one looks a lot more professional. So therefore, I put it on the list. Now, it was mentioned in the Discord today that they were doing a mint um, on um, Binance. And obviously, I wanted to get involved. I did get involved. So I was like, let me shoot this video then for you guys. Give it a good idea. So there were about it, it was about a couple of hours ago I, I didn't have the time to shoot this video before then um, but they have some really uh, great well it's a very small video about some gameplay but it does look um, like your grand theft auto style game right especially battling against one another which is quite cool and then you can build a global empire which is cool that the map is really not limited to just one city it is like a global thing so these were limited edition blueprints the blueprint owners will be able to acquire in-game assets the blueprints will form the foundation of the in-game assets by providing incentives and perks within the sin city ecosystem blueprint assets will be upgraded through various mecha mechanisms including training modifying player versus enemy and player versus player battles farming borrowing lending staking and whatever this means right so they have some faces lined out here i think this one <laughs> this page has a lot more information than their own website so maybe they should make their website look like this because this looks really good to be fair uh phase one is the early december nft pre-sale right that's what was currently happening so we got mid-december we got the ido coming up mm -hmm. and then late december the game module fee one live then Q1 2022, the marketplace will go live, right? So this is all the phase one. Uh, we are now in early December. So this is the NFT pre-sales, the current project that I'm talking about, the OpenSea and the Binance drop. Phase two will be a full launch, which will then be Q2 to basically Q4 next year. Full launch, um, universe integration, farming, guild wars, gaming, mobile, uh, centralized exchanges, country war, tournaments, resource trading, and the full metaverse in phase three. So when we check out these limited edition blueprints, there was an insane volume, right? So when you go to first edition, there are none available. So it took about, I don't know, maybe eight minutes to sell out. There were a total of 8,000 listed by Sin City. Uh, the platform was really buggy. There were a lot of problems. Um, they were 350 BUSD each. Uh, in my Discord and in my Telegram, most people were able to get one. Uh, in Discord from Sin City, I noticed a lot of people got none, right, which is unfortunate. Uh, I, one of my buddies got four, the other one got six, and this time I was lucky because I got how many? Where's my account? A lot. I got 24 plus one for sale. I got 25 Sin City uh, blueprints, which yeah, it's about $9,000 <laughs> worth. Uh, but obviously I got enthusiastic when I was able to buy some. The system was full glitchy and everything. So if you're watching this video, I don't know what the bid floor will be, but right now it's 427. It goes up and down a lot. So 10 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, it was 900, right? It jumped back to 360 right which they got sold immediately because the the volume is already at 4 million usd and if you do like 8000 times 350 let me do it on my phone 8000 times 350 right it's 2.8 million 
So 2.8 million is the first edition, and then the resales is already accumulating to 1.2 million in sales, right? So there's a lot of traction right now on this project. And obviously, as these blueprints are the foundation of acquiring in-game assets, they will be in high demand uh, as well as obviously the Genesis passes. The Genesis passes are extremely limited, right? There's only 213 by about 200 owners, and there's only 30, 30 for sale. So I assume, as per my Sin City price prediction, that these will bounce back to 5 ETH easy, right? 5, 6 Ethereum, not specifically because we know a lot about the utility, but when we look at the Discord and the whole project in general right now, there's not that much information. I think with this amount of backing that they have, there's no need to hide, right? They are doing this on purpose. They're trying to build the hype around their project, uh, specifically looking uh, to come out with information in bundled pieces, which can be digested, not build too much hype, right? Overhype the project. But when the IDO comes, there will be a consistent flow of information because then the marketing efforts are being released. At that moment, this already has been online for a week, if not weeks, right? Weeks, if not months, right? So I assume that the 400, uh, 4 Ethereum at that point might go to 567 Ethereum, which means that if this bid floor rises, it is very much normal. These are 8,000, right? So we're talking about a way different level here. I have 25, the average person has maybe one or two, right? So I was extremely lucky. Yes, I'm a hoarder, but I'm a businessman. Uh, on the other side, I think that floor price will easily go to 700, 1,000, uh, USD each, right? So 3x uh, in line with the floor price here. This one was a free mint. Take that into consideration. This one wasn't, right? This one was 350 BUSD each. This one was a free mint by solving the riddle. So obviously your return here is insane, right? But there was some effort required here. You just have to be quick. Spam taps. That's what I did. Uh, obviously. Uh, I was extremely lucky because even without using like an advanced bot or anything, I just opened tabs, opened tabs, purchase, purchase, purchase. At some point, I never used this market before. So I had a message saying like, oh, you need to verify uh, your account uh, because you need to increase the spending limit or something, right? That you can spend in a day. So I had to do like a SMS verification, email verification, and then I continued buying again. It was a crazy like five to 15 minutes during that period. You can even see people listing this shit for crazy amounts already, but there are definitely still some cheap ones out there um, to, to like a good opportunity, like resale, fixed price, BUSD. Because on this one, literally what we're talking, is kind of crazy. We're talking $15,000, 14.9, 14.6. That's a lot of money, you know? If you want to get involved in this project, don't want to throw crazy numbers. 425 right now, cheapest one, 429, 430, 430, 430. So there's definitely a lot of people looking for a quick flip. This only happened an hour ago, right? So over the next couple of days, if you're watching this video, expect these numbers to look different. And hopefully for me, they will be higher. Um, looking at the, the project itself, yeah, what can I say so far? I don't have a white paper. The game, as far as all the information that available, looks really good. The NFTs appear to be in high demand. There is a huge amount of users already because of the people involved, right? And the team, as I always say, is so important when it comes down to games because the team has to understand the individuals that are going to play this game, that are going to enjoy this game, and of course the investors behind the game. If we look at uh, Animoca Brands, yesterday on Twitter, I posted a huge report about Animoca Brands and their success in making hundreds of millions this year. So having them as a backer, but obviously Alex Becker, uh, Santiago, uh, the guys from Illuvium, uh, uh, they have kind of uh, made a selection apart from their core team, which is strategic and marketing wise, one of the best decisions, uh, maybe even the best team I have reviewed so far. So definitely going to make an update video once the white paper is out. Uh, in my opinion, would it be worth it to snag one of these up if you have the money? Yes, but I think they're quite expensive and I'm going to pass for now. 
Um, would it be worth it to buy one of these blueprints? Yes, uh, and I wouldn't pass because I think 427 is still very affordable. I wouldn't buy one above like 600, 700, I think at this point until they release more information. And that's one thing, that's the, literally the only thing that I would be able to find on this project where they need to improve is their communication, right? Because in the chat, there's literally one guy who's like an underboss title there's so many fucking messages and there's just no admins look here, here he is again but look how many messages were posted since he last posted all right that's one one but one guy with an executive tab maybe he's also part of the team but it nowhere says like since the admin or anything like this uh, where we see in a lot smaller groups there's a lot more support from mod moderators and and uh, admins to answer questions one thing which is crazy is that when we look at all these these blueprints right there's no reveal date when we look at these passes there are no reveal dates so they just say it will be announced in the future well when you know as as, as investors it is nice to have an id on when you can expect things i assume this will all be cleared up when the white paper becomes available and as i said i will do an update then so far super pumped about this gem project I will definitely try to get into a private sale opportunity. If not, I will 100% jump on the IDO. I just need to read the tokenomics first. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the Sin City. Is this the biggest game of the year? Yes or no? Let me know down below. I'll be sure to have a look. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.